What's good, YouTube? Let's show up on here. We're back again with another live Wi-Fi battle against Kane again off of Pokemon Showdown. Um, take a quick look at this. Ah, oh, annoying. This is the equivalent of a bulky team. We have a Slowbro. We have a Rotom Wash. We have a Scizor. We have a Sableye. We have a Fable and a Gliscor. And people say Stall is dead on Wi-Fi. This is the equivalent of a Stall team on Wi-Fi, if I ever saw one myself. This is going to be annoying. This is definitely going to be annoying. Um, I'm going to lead off with Miss... Uh, with my Mega Gardevoir and Miss Syncor, just because I feel like he's going to be leading off with that, um, I don't think he'll lead off with the Scizor, and the Scizor is really the only thing that can really stop me dead in my tracks, uh, else it will be pro it'll prove an effective matchup against the Rotom Wash if he does decide to lead off with that to Volt get some Volt Switch initiative, and it also matches up well against the Sableye if he wants to lead off with that, even if he wants to lead off the Gliscor too as well, it matches up against that as well. So, um, he is asking me a question, so I'll BRB until the bout. Alrighty, so let's see what he's going to be leading off with. I am leading off my, my Mega Gardevoir because I can pretty much Mega Evolve on everything except that, um, there's a Sableye. Alright, sweet. Um, apparently he's making fun of my team for it not being OU enough. In fact, I think half my team's OU. Let me go check really quickly. Um, I don't know, two things on my team is OU. <laughs> oh well. Um, well, we can Mega Evolve. Um, what He has that. Do I actually want to make a prediction? I'm going to make a play. I'm going to Will O List predicting the sweat double out into Scizor. Can I see the double out into Scizor? Can I see the double out into Scizor? Yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, the nice and powerful plays. The nice and powerful plays. Um, as uh, I do decide to Mega Evolve just because I want to get my stats up. And I want to get that Pixelate as well because really synchronization is not going to be that big of a deal. But anyways, now can I land this Will-O-Wisp? I can land this Will-O-Wisp. So um, the threat known as Scizor is no longer that big of a threat because it's now burned. So I don't have to deal... Well, I do have to deal with it still, but um, I don't have to worry about it too much. And with that burn, that pretty much means that my Mega Gardevoir can run rampant through this entire team because Slowbro gets two of KO'd, Sableye gets O-Code, Rotom Wash gets two of KO'd, Clefable gets two of KO'd, and Gliscor gets two of KO'd, I believe. So he does decide to knock off um, my Life Orb, as I see he's Life Orb as well. So that's fine. I'm just going to click SD here. No real reason why not, because what is this thing going to do to me? What is it going to do to me? It, Bullet Punch, maybe Brick Break? Okay, he has Super Power as well. Alright, you're still burned. It's still not Stab, and that knocked me out. Okay, I'm sad. Alright, he's Life Orb. I forgot about the Life Orb, but still, that's sad. That really is kind of sad. Um, there's the Burn, there's the Life Orb. So, I do, I am down 5-6, but looking at his team, Empoleon really wasn't going to be doing much of anything regardless. So, um... I really want to go out into Entei and just end this, but I don't at the same time. So I'm just going to go out into the DM Bobcat, the nice Raikou, and um, I want to see if he wants to double out. I don't think he'll double out, so I'm just going to click Volt Switch. Uh, he doesn't. He's going to go for an unknown move. Hopefully that kills. Of course it doesn't, because my luck is terrible. Um, what do I have that wants to take a hit? What is he going to go for? Well, he has a minus one. He could go for superpower. He could go for a knock. He's probably going to knock off now that I think about it. So back out into um, my Mega Gardevoir on the predicted knockoff, because that's going to do neutral damage. He is at minus one as well. So, that's that. And now he has to bring in something to deal with Mega Gardevoir. Which puts me at a great position. The only thing he can really possibly bring in is, I think, his Rotom Wash and Volt Switch, maybe? Well, I know Slowbro can take one hit. He chooses to bring out the Gliscor. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Um, not quite sure I agree with that play. Uh, I did show Will-O-Wisp. Do I want to go for Will-O-Wisp again? He's probably going to protect. He's probably going to protect. Do I have something to bring in here on the predicted protect? I really don't have anything to bring. Do, wait, does my four guns he have Ice Beam? It does have Ice Beam. What is No, nah, but he has um, two things that are resistant to that. Um, I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp. Ah, there's the protect. All right. I mean, the protect was kind of obvious, just because I did have Will-O-Wisp. But um, I didn't want to go for a uh, higher voice, just on the off chance he didn't. Um, so was, he gets his poison uh, orb activated. That's fine by me. Let's see how well he takes this hyper voice. He doesn't take it well at all. And he misses toxic, which is great for me. Um, that thing pretty much just gets straight up demolished. It just gets straight up. He's gonna protect. Oh, see, this is this is the type of thing that I just don't understand when you're in a Wi-Fi battle, like especially in Wi-Fi battle. What is the point of this protect? It's not like that extra 12% you're getting back is going to save you whatsoever. You're still going to die to this hyper voice. And if you want to switch out, everything else on your team gets to a Caleb. So that protect was legitimately useless. There was no reason to protect there whatsoever. So, you know, it's just a nice, powerful waste of a turn. That's all that is. But pretty much his team is really weak to Mega Gardevoir. Like, it just runs rampant through his team. Nothing can take two hyper voices. Because, um, as you saw, Gliscor barely took one. Um, Rotom, Wash, and Clefable are pretty much the only things that can reliably take two. Like, I mean, depending on the spread of his Clefable and his Rotom, Wash, they might be able to take two. And it might be a three KO, but I don't know. I think pretty much everything else on his team gets two KO'd. I mean, it all depends on his EV spread. But, um, yeah, we're just going to wait for him to realize that that protect was all in vain and he's either going to sack off his glide score right here which you know i'm fine with i don't really don't care or he decides to save it which is beyond me and he's going to bring out rotom wash which is pretty much the only thing that would could possibly take a hit from this thing and that's going to do a nice around 50 percent a little more than 50 percent i will take it <sighs> so i don't understand that play at all and now he's probably going to volt switch and let something else take more damage. So pretty much Gardevoir's just gonna be punching holes through his team, which I'm perfectly okay with. I'm I am uh very happy with um Gardevoir just punching holes through his team. I actually have speed, which is even better. I forgot uh, I do have some speed investment on this thing. Not a lot, but some. And uh I get a nice speed boost as well when I mega evolve and his guard his Rotom Wash obviously didn't have much, if any, speed investment, so you know, this is what happens when you run a really stally team. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't have a Chansey. To be completely honest, Chansey is probably the only thing on his team that could really have stopped me. And even then, not stopped me very well, because I do have Psyshock on this thing. So, um, in comes this. I do have Energy Ball, but I do believe Hyper Voice is stronger than Energy Ball. Now, I want to see if this thing is his Mega or not. Because it's a toss-up between Mega Slowbro and Mega Sableye, both of which are equally annoying. Well, uh, I don't know which is more annoying, to be completely honest, but they're, they're both pretty annoying, not to say the least. So, um, For sure, I mean, this actually, Sableye is probably his Mega, because this thing's probably a Salt Vest. In which case, it probably won't get OK'd, but still, 2 KO. what is he going to do, Scald me, Shadow Ball me? It's, it's not that big of a deal. So honestly, I don't know why he saved his glass score because that thing was at such low HP. Doesn't matter whatsoever, and I think I outspeed it too. I outspeed everything on his team, which is pretty nice. But he, he turns out to be Mega Slowbro, which, you know, maybe he has his uh, Mega Stone on both Slowbro and Sableye, and he can choose which one he wants to Mega Evolve. I do not agree with Mega Evolving with Slowbro because that thing is going to get to a KO'd as he does the Skull to Scald me. Um, I do have enough HP investment to where, and he doesn't burn me. Um, I'm just going to show off Energy Ball, just because I feel like it. But down goes his Mega, which is his slow row. And yeah, that's pretty much the game. So Gardevoir just pretty much just 6 0 this guy. Well, no, I didn't get 6 0 because he did knock out my, um, he knocked out my, uh, my Empoleon. But yeah, there's really not much. Oh, I just realized his team is probably all shiny. So he's one of those people. I used to be one of those guys. He uses an all shiny team. 
and then I don't know. I I just I don't know. Only a few Pokemon actually look ever good, shiny. Um, what do I want to do with this thing? I do want to keep around this for the Gliscor and the Sableye, so I am actually going to switch out. Mm, do I want to switch out though? I don't know what this thing wants to do to me though. I really don't know. So I am going to stay in here. I'm going to Hyper Voice. I lied. I'm going to stay in here, Hyper Voice, and then follow it up with a Psy Shock the following turn on the off chance he wants to like. He wants a Fire Blast. Is that his strongest move? I guess. I don't agree with that play at all. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> I do not know what he was thinking. That play made legitimate no sense. Like, he could have missed. He didn't have, like, Moonblast or something. Fire Blast. What was he even predicting? I could have switched out. I was actually close to switching out. But, hmm, I don't know. Anyways, I can just follow it up with another Hyper Voice. Everything dies now. That's game. That is game right there. As a, he actually decides to DC right here instead of taking, um taking the loss so that's gonna be it that's pretty much where that's why you don't mess around with a, a low lower tier team so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you all next time bye